Hello, this is Billy McDaniel from Almighty Games Dev. Today we're going to be learning some tips and tricks for Blender, more specifically how to make a closed circuit loop racetrack like you see here. One of my viewers, Link1111, had written and asked how to do this, so I'm going to show you Link and anybody else interested in watching. We're going to use a couple of modifiers, the curve and the array modifier, and together with the curve and a mesh, we should be able to achieve this. So let's go ahead and add our mesh. So add a cube, we'll go into edit mode on this cube and scale it on the Z axis to 0.1. We wanna make it nice and flat. Let's go in here and add a loop cut with control R. We're gonna put that on the Y axis. So left click once and then roll my mouse. So we have two cuts and left click. We're gonna scale this on the X axis to make a couple of sidewalks along the side using face select and control E to access the extrude menu. We're gonna use extrude manifold to push that down. Now I can clean up some unwanted geometry by selecting these faces and then deleting them. So select everything you don't want, delete those faces. We're almost there. We have what looks like kind of like a road, but we need to add some more geometry to this, more specifically some more loop cuts. And I want to create an odd number leaving a nice loop cut straight down the middle. So I'm going to choose the number 11. And as you can see, there is one cut going right down the middle. This isn't really necessary, but it makes things nice and balanced. So let's go in and continue. Uh, I guess what's next is we got to name this, right? Don't forget to name your objects, otherwise it can be very confusing. I'm going to call this road and just get rid of my sample segment that I had at the beginning of the video, leaving just the road in the scene. And now let's go ahead and create our curve. Now I decided to go with a path. So control A to access the, the add menu and then go to curve and add a path. Let's go to top view. That's the number seven on the numpad. Go into edit mode. I'm just going to start moving some of these vertices around to create a nice curved loop. So you can grab these vertices one by one using G and then extrude them to make them go around a path. When you get to the end, select both of the tips and then use F to fill them and then just go and straighten everything out to make it nice and smooth the way that you want it. Let's go back to our road and add our first modifier. Under Generate, we'll go ahead and add the array. You'll notice that it's moving in the wrong direction. Um, I want it to move along the face of the road, not side by side. So I'm going to change the factor X to 0 and the factor Y to 1. And now we're moving in the right direction. Later on, I'm going to discover that I probably should have moved along the X anyway, but we'll come back to that. So we have our array moving in what we think is the correct direction. Let's go ahead and add our first modifier. So this is going to be or our second modifier. This is going to be the curve and we'll choose the curve object here. And this is where I start running into problems. I'm kind of glad I recorded it this way. There's six different options for X, Y, Z and positive and negative values. I'm going to go through the, I'm going to go through all of them and then realize that it's just not working. And I think there's probably a lot of different ways to go about fixing this. But for me, the easiest way was to just go back and rotate the original mesh so that it's facing in the in the x direction instead of the y so that's what i'm going to end up doing i'm going to go back to the array and change the factor y back to zero change the factor x back to one like it was originally ah now you can see that it's going in the right direction so i go into edit mode on the mesh and just rotate it 90 degrees on the z-axis so now it's going in the opposite direction no big deal but it fixes that problem now that we've done this i'm going to scale it down if you don't want to scale your road down you can always scale your curve up but basically make the road match the curve shape now you can see i've gone and overlapped from here it looks fine but if you brought this into a game engine you'd see some some face battling there where the faces are competing to be on top um, what's going on here is we have a little bit of overlap. So if I go just one more, again, you can't see it here, but if you go and apply this, which is going to happen when you bring it into your game engine, and then you go into edit the mesh, you can see the overlapping now. See the darker orange area. Also, if I select some of the geometry and pull it apart from one another, you can see that there's doubled up geometry there. We don't want that. So let's go ahead and undo all of that, and we'll find a better solution to this. So we have our two modifiers. I'm going to go back so that they don't overlap. There is a gap there. 
And then I'll go back to my curve and just edit the curve and try to bring that gap in a little bit closer together. Now I do spend a moment doing this, but I really like the shape of my racetrack and I don't really want to close that gap in. Don't panic, we can still do that quite easily and it'll still look beautiful when we're done. So now that we've got our track set, let's go ahead and apply both of those again because we're going to need a solid mesh. And what we want to do is focus in on just this gap right here. So I'm going to use Alt left click to select that edge and then Alt left click to select the other edge. You can see that only those edges are selected. I'm going to demonstrate that again here. So Alt left click and then Alt shift left click so that only those edges are selected and nothing else. And then use Control E to bring up the bridge edge loops menu. Go ahead and click on that. And now bring up the worksheet. And there's two things that you're going to want to play with here. One of them is the cuts. And I want to basically make it look like the surrounding geometry. The other thing is if it doesn't look quite right to you, you can always play around with the smoothness too. Now I'm going to select this right here because this looks a little jagged to me. And use Control plus sign to select more. And delete that geometry because I want to smooth that out while I'm at it too. So I'm selecting both of those edges just like I did a moment ago and control E bridge edge loops and then repeat number of cuts and just make it match the surrounding geometry. And there we go. Now we have a nice closed circuit loop racetrack and you'll find that this will work really well for your games. So thanks a lot link 1111 for writing in and giving me the inspiration to do this. I want to remind all of you guys that without your likes and subs and without your comments asking for more, I really don't know what you want. I don't even know that there's anybody out there. So I just want to say, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what's on your mind and hopefully see you guys in the next video.